Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing y'all along on this little day in the life vlog. I'm also sharing my painting and decorating with me in our master bedroom, getting it ready for new baby boy headed on the way. Um, I hope y'all get some inspo from this. If y'all haven't seen any of my recent videos where I show y'all what I've been doing in this room, I'll leave those linked down below. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and give this video a big thumbs up. What do you think, crazy face? Hi. Your mouth is peanut butter all over, Rick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do do. Yeah. Do do that. <laughs> you love telling them boys what to do, huh? Did you just drop that on the floor? What you dropping it on the floor for? Do that. Yeah. What do you have? Got crackers of peanut butter and grapes. Is it so yummy? Yeah. Hey y'all, so as you can see, it is a hot summer day today in Texas. It is over 100 degrees today, so the kids are out in the pool, the little baby pool that we have since we don't have a real pool. Um, but I had to clean it out because we had left it from the time before and it was so gross. And that is like one of my least favorite things to do is to clean out a baby pool. It's very annoying. So clean that out got it all ready for them and now they're playing in it hopefully they last a little bit longer because it takes you know time out of the day for them to have fun with each other but they're boys and they love to wrestle and someone always ends up getting hurt and crying and screaming oh my gosh y'all it's just it's just like a circle it just keeps going round <laughs> and jade is kind of afraid of the water um, she doesn't like being splashed in the face and then with the boys in there that doesn't really help so she gets in for a little bit and then she's done and then she likes to sit on the sidelines and scream at them like she's like ordering them around it's pretty cute <laughs> but so she's having her lunch slash snack um, she just got up from her nap but I have a few things I want to get done today and I thought I'd bring y'all along with me um, I will end up doing a master bedroom tour that's not going to be today but I have some things that I wanna be putting down in the master bedroom. So I need to finish painting the dresser. It needs another coat of paint before we can put the handles on. I have a new rug for my master I'm super excited about. It. It's been rolled up forever, so I haven't even seen it put together. Um, and I think I have a couple things I wanna put up above the bed. So I wanna do all that today and kind of tidy up. Um, so I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. So let's do this. Before we get started, baby boy in mama's tummy was wanting some chocolate cookies. Right now that seems to be the craving <laughs> at the moment is these Oreos with milk. I just love it right now. Um, and I needed to change my tank top because I was wearing a white tank. And of course, right when I put it on straight out of the laundry, baby girl got Dorito dust all over it. So I threw that in the washer, changed my shirt, munching on my oreos and of course once i start baby boy starts going crazy he loves it <laughs> so enjoying this moment right here and then we're gonna get started <laughs> what are you doing she doesn't fit in here anymore so i took the seat out because when i had the seat in there she kept trying to climb in and then she would scream because she'd get stuck. Yeah, and then we always had to come and get her out. So now I just took the bottom. And now she can play on it all she wants, like her own little jungle gym. Yeah, she loves it. She'll sit in here. Yeah. You sit in there for hours, just playing by yourself? Yeah. Cutie. So funny, the toys that they want to play with. Like this isn't even a toy anymore for her. And you have all these other toys just for you and your age and you don't want them. You'd rather play here. Huh, mama? How are you gonna do this, huh? Oh, we have to get all the toys first. 
Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh. <laughs> Why do you do keep doing it that way? It would be a lot easier if you just came to the front to put them down on the tray. <laughs> smart girl. You're so smart. Uh. Oh. Smarty pants. Peanut butter on your mouth. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> so first things first, I really needed to vacuum this room. It does not get vacuumed very often and my dog sleeps in here and lays in here with me at night so her hair is just everywhere y'all. It's so gross. So once that's done, now I can get down here by the dresser, start touching up all these different areas that really needed the touch up, making sure it got a good second coat, or actually I think this was the third coat. <laughs> I definitely wanted this piece to be all white, no distressing or any of that kind of stuff. Um, so as you can see, once I started going, Jade was more interested in me painting than what the boys were doing outside. And I really didn't think this through when I let her stay in the room with me. So <laughs> after a while she got a little too close to the paint and I decided to put her out in the living room with some toys and her brothers and close the door so that mama could get this finished without worrying about her little sticky fingers getting into the paint and then touching everything else. I'm so excited to see this dresser come to life with some new handle pulls on the drawers. I'm gonna be ordering these really simple, sleek brass handles from Home Depot. I cannot wait to see it all put together. I feel like it's just gonna give this room some pop to it. Um, I have brass around the mirror that I'm gonna be putting up and I'm thinking about getting some brass lamps for our nightstands. So I think all of that together, it's not too overdone um, but just enough to give it a little bit of a sleek look to it. Um, I can't really say exactly what style I'm going for in this room. It's going to be a little bit of the boho vibes but also modern. Um, so something like that in between but if you guys have brass in your house whether it's the lamps or handle pulls or anything like that let me know what kind of style you went with I would love to hear about that and get some ideas but once I get those in and get it all put together I will definitely be showing y'all that it probably will be in the room tour that we do once this room is fully finished so I can't wait for that Now that the dresser is drying, I'm going to go ahead and start decorating with the pieces that I have for now. Um, if you haven't seen my recent videos on how I refinished this little white filing cabinet, it was black to begin with. I've had it for over like 15 years. It's very old. Um, but I, I decided to paint it white and distress it and I really love the way it turned out. So that's gonna be going over here. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I want everything. And I'm gonna be putting this mirror up above it and a couple other things above it. Um, so hopefully everything kind of comes to life the way I really want it to be. And then I also have a rug that came in that I cannot wait to put down and show y'all what it looks like. Thank you. 
Well, here it is, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love this rug. I just love rugs in general. I've been wanting some in my house for so long. I'm so happy I finally got one, especially for our master bedroom. I love this one, the way that it feels. I love all the colors in it. It's seriously so perfect for this room and the vibe I'm going for. Oh, I just am so in love with it. Um, anyways, I'm moving some of this furniture over because our bed is not in the center of this wall and on my side of the bed I barely have any room and when Jade was newborn we had her little mama room right there next to my bed and the wall and there was room for the mama room but there wasn't room for me to get in and out it was just kind of a hassle so I knew I wanted to make sure I moved the bed over, made it more center with the wall because I'm also going to be putting up some pictures above the bed and I want to make sure everything is nice and centered. Plus, I get a little extra room on the side, especially for when this baby comes. Trying to move this bed over while pregnant was a little bit harder than I was expecting, but I think I got the job done as well as I could. Um, but I wanted to talk to y'all about this filing cabinet area. I'm actually gonna be putting a changing basket and a pad on top of there. That's kinda gonna be our little changing station when baby boy comes. If you haven't seen any of my recent videos, then you wouldn't know, but I will let you know that we have three kids. I'm pregnant with my fourth and we only have a three bedroom house. So I don't have an extra room to make into a nursery. So the master bedroom will be master slash nursery. So I'm trying to make it functional, not only for us to be in, but also for the new baby boy. And I wanted to give y'all a little close up of this rug and how beautiful these colors are and the pattern. I'm seriously so in love. I want to know, do you guys have a rug in your house that you just absolutely love so much and want everybody else to know about it because you think it is one of the best? I would love some more suggestions because I'm definitely looking for some more in the rest of my house. y'all so I'm almost done I put the rug down I still have this whole area I need to put up I thought I was gonna get a chance to get that done now um, the noise you hear is Jade playing on one of the boys toys so sorry about that but I thought I was gonna have time to do it I might after we do dinner um, have my help my husband help me um, but if not then y'all will just have to wait for my next vlog and I'll show y'all the progress as we go along um, until we show the room tour. <laughs> like that thing is so loud. Anyways, I need to get dinner started, so let me go and do that first. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Alright y'all, I'm getting way down here But um, super easy dinner I'm gonna make tonight I already had some pasta sauce left over Some spaghetti left over And then I got these at Trader Joe's In my last Trader Joe's haul So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave that linked here If you wanna watch my new My new my first ever trip to Trader Joe's shopping, grocery shopping, but we grabbed these. So we're gonna see how they taste tonight. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 
a little bit very slowly something to save us close but we're strangers feel like we're far apart <laughs> Well, it's gotten late, <laughs> so I'm definitely not going to be putting that stuff up on the wall tonight. Um, like I said earlier, probably on my next vlog, I will film that whenever we put it up. And as we get things in the room, ordered things come in and we start putting them up, I will definitely be showing y'all that process. But our nightstands I want to talk about and our lamps. If you can see these, this lamp here, this nightstand, definitely does not go with the decor that I'm going to be putting in the room and the whole style that I'm going for. So it's not something I can just like paint over. It's, you know, the mirrored nightstand and like a metal look to the lamps. So I'm going to try to take some pictures of them and sell them online. I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to put them on like Facebook marketplace and also Mercari. Um, Mercari is all stuff that you ship. And even though the dressers are heavy, I figured, Hey, you know what? If somebody wants to buy them and pay for the shipping, I'll totally do it. <laughs> but I need to get these up soon because I really want new nightstands and new lamps, but I've decided I'm not just going to go out and buy new stuff if we still have these. So I'm going to wait till these sell before I buy that. Hopefully they sell and I'm able to get the new ones before the baby comes because I would love this room to be totally finished when the baby comes. This baby is going to be living in our master bedroom for quite a while. Um, we'll have his crib in here and all of that. So that's another reason why I want to make this room really cute. I've been wanting to redo this room anyways. And then with the baby coming, it's just kind of, you know, help me get it all into gear and get it really done. Plus it's going to be, you know, master room slash nursery. So it's kind of cool. You know, usually you have a whole nursery to decorate and all that. So this is like my nursery decorating <laughs> kind of phase. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show y'all baby boy. Y'all, I feel so big. I am 26 weeks pregnant right now as I'm filming this. I'm now in my third trimester officially. For one, I can't believe it because I feel like thinking that, oh my gosh, I'm already in my third trimester. I don't have that much time left. 
the time has gone by so quickly. But then at the same time, I felt like time went by slow. Um, but out of all my pregnancies, my first pregnancy, I was definitely the biggest I've ever been. I gained a ton of weight and I ate super healthy. So I don't know how that happened. And then my other two pregnancies after that, I'll, all I wanted was candy and I barely gained any weight. So I don't know how that's working out, but this time around, I haven't gained as much as my first, but I'm definitely bigger at 26 weeks than I was with my last two pregnancies, which kind of makes me nervous because I am in my thirties. This is my fourth child. And so, you know, the whole losing weight after baby gets a lot harder when you've had multiple children and when you're older. So it makes me a little nervous. I won't lie. <laughs> I'm not trying to like snap back and be this, you know, skinny mini thing right after baby, but I definitely don't want to be struggling either. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead, take pictures of the stuff, put it up and get it ready to sell. Um, obviously we've had these forever. I got these at the at home store when it was Garden Ridge. So we got these like eight years ago and some of this has come up. But other than that, they're they're in pretty good shape. They're sturdy, they're super heavy. So hopefully somebody's gonna want this and maybe they don't mind that or maybe they can paint over it or redo it, I don't know. But they're really pretty, they just aren't gonna go with the style I'm going for. And then this lamp, I think I got these at the at-home store also. Either that or it was Walmart, I can't remember. But these are also really nice and really sturdy. I just, again, they just are not gonna go with the whole style I'm going for. So these are gonna get sold and these. Well, it is the next day. I meant to end my vlog last night and I got too tired and I never did it. So I wanna end the vlog now. I am laying here on my new rug. <laughs> I love this thing so much, y'all. Like, how pretty. It's so pretty. And this material is like so silky soft. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, I love it. So, I feel like when I lay down, you can see my veins pop out in my head. It's very weird. It's probably not so flattering. Maybe I should sit up. Oh, okay. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to end the vlog and let y'all know, thank you for watching my vlogs. Thank you for watching my videos on my channel. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all support just makes me so happy and I love getting to know y'all, especially my mamas out there or my pregnant mamas. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you here. Um, become a little soul tribe mama with me and I will see y'all next time. I'm gonna go ahead and just chill on my rug for a little bit longer before the kiddos try to run in here and go crazy. <laughs> I'll see y'all, bye.